Well, hello. So, some time back I did a video on a uh, long ink window fountain pen. Uh, it was a Rex pen, long ink window. This one is a Senator long ink window. So let's take a look at it. All right, so this is the Senator slash Mertz and Krell long ink window pen. Um, we'll just take a quick look at it, and then I'm going to bring up a companion pen just to, for some comparison. Forgot to photograph it, but what I was... So the ink window is so long that it sticks out beyond the cap. We have a nice, probably plated clip. Um, yeah, very long ink window. The nib is a Bach nib. It's actually a gold Bach nib, so that gives me a lot of hope for the potential of this pen. Now, I'm just going to mention, and for sake of the photographs on my Evernote site, at the top I'm going to put the Senator Mertz and Krell. The bottom, this is a Toes Pencala pen. Also, with a vintage Bach nib and the same feed. So really, the only difference I see between these two pens, in all honesty, is that the Toes Pencala pen has had uh, quite a bit of corrosion on the clip. So whatever that means, we're, we're going to uh, take this pen on a little trip. We're going to give it a nice drink of Parker Quink Washable Blue. Uh, Toes Pencala was a Croatian brand. Senator slash Merz Krell is a, a German brand. So I dr dumped my uh, Parker Quink Washable Blue into an ink miser because my ink level is so low I can't really fill it from the bottle anymore. So we're going to turn down the piston. We'll get a look at how it works. This pen arrived very clean, which was quite a difference from the Toes Pencala version because uh, that one was a flipping mess. But I bought this one from Proto Pens and they generally do good work. So we'll give it a snort. Which does a remarkable job of filling it. But, well, we're, we're, we're going to get our money's worth plus. I want to use up this bottle so I can get to my last bottle of Parker Quink Washable Blue. And we'll just spin it down one more time. No air bubbles, so I think we're good. And we'll just drip out like a drop or two. There. So there we go. We got it filled with Parker Quink Washable Blue. Let's see how it writes. My ink bottle is, you know. A little bit of a hard start as I started writing Senator, but it did well after that. So the ink in it is Parker Quink. Washable blue. Haven't had a hard start again, so I wonder if that was just, you know, that first filled thing. Well, let's check out Flex. Heck yeah! You knew it would have Flex as soon as you saw what nib was in this pen. No pressure. Pressure. And my oblique test. This is a fun pen. Uh, wetness and flow. We'll do it with minimal pressure. This pen is kind of reminding me of a Reform 4000, but, uh, you know, one that writes better. <laughs> Smear test. We'll do two of them. We'll do one with limited pressure. Yipe. And one with pressure. 
Woo! <laughs> uh, reverse writing. Scratchy is all get out. But probably an extra fine. And I'm going to do, because I did this with a different pen, uh, I'm going to do the Pierre Gustafson test. Words are hard. Pierre Gustafson test twice, once with limited pressure, which is how I usually do it, and then once with uh, more pressure. Had one skip here, and that was it. Not you know, amazing with no pressure, but certainly more than adequate. And with some pressure. So either way, it keeps up, but with uh, no pressure, it seems to need a little encouragement. So make of that what you will. So Senator Long Inkwindo, um the only difference I really see between this pen is the engraving is slightly different on the nib, but they're both Bach nibs. And uh, the finish is holding up better on the Senator than it is on the Rex pen. But on the other hand, how much that has to do with conditions where it was stored. So I don't know what has to do with the quality of the manufacturer, what has to do with the quality of uh, just storage, uh, or how it was handled through its life. The other thing I'm a little curious about both pens, I mean, honest to God, if it weren't for the problem with the plating on the clip, I wouldn't know the difference between the two pens. So I have to keep them labeled. So I have to think that a Western European pen maker, Senator, was cooperating with, an, with a, a pen maker from behind the Iron Curtain, Rex Pen, to make a fountain pen. Did they both manufacture them in the same factory? I don't know. Uh, did they develop it together and then they each manufactured? I don't know. But they are very similar. Color, style, everything. And I can't believe that Rex Pen would be that blatant as to just, I'm going to steal your entire design and just slap a different label on it. I don't suppose they'd have gotten in trouble for that back then, being behind the Iron Curtain, but I, I just can't quite picture it. So, uh, which pen do I like better? I <laughs> I don't know if they feel the same. I don't notice a difference, so whatever. Your mileage may vary. A pocket test. Fits in the pocket with no problem. I liked writing with it. It's very comfortable. Uh, fit, sit, sits well in the hand. And, you know, just to make this fun, let me cap it again. I have here, uh, I didn't think of this during the video, but I have here a Reform 4000. Um, I know that's blurry, but aren't they a lot alike? The Reform 4000 here is uh, the one with the gold label. Aren't they a lot alike? So, uh, If Rex Pen did just shamelessly steal the design, <laughs> apparently Reform stole a lot too. Um, I, I'm just not too worried about it. But uh, I, I kind of think the two companies cooperated somehow. So, anyway, a uh, nice pen to write with. Um, has one of those vintage Bach nibs, so, you know, it's, it's a nice writer. Has enough flex and bounce to be fun. And, uh, yeah, glad I bought it. And it, it's kind of a fun curiosity to put next to the, the other pen. So, anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.